Hello everyone, Lina here. In this video, I will show you how to create a dynamic calendar in only 10 minutes. Now, let's get started. As usual, I will set up the sheet a little bit, resize the columns and rows. And you need to make sure that the horizontal alignment is center. Vertical alignment is middle and the text wrapping is wrap. Then we create a place to enter information for the year and month. Select cells and then choose merge horizontally. Here you will type in the initials of the days of the week. Next, select 5 rows and 7 columns. Choose borders, then select all borders. Ok, now we finished the first step. Next, we will need to insert a drop down menu to these two cells. So I'm going to add a new sheet. I will name this setting. In this sheet, we insert the data of the years and the months. Now go back to the first sheet, here you choose insert, then choose drop down and select drop down from a range. Select the year data range in the setting sheet. I want to change this to an arrow, so I'm going to choose Advanced Options and select the arrow. If you want to change the range or add a new year, just change it in the setting sheet. For example, when I add 2029 20, here, you will see a drop down had added the option 2029. 20, With the month sections, we're going to do the same steps as we just did.
after we have the data as above, our next task is to convert these numbers to dates. So select the data range, choose format, number, custom, date and time. I only want to keep the day, so I will delete the month and year. And then choose apply. You see, now we have our calendar here. Now I want the days that do not belong to this month to be grayed out. So uh, you need to select the data range, choose format again, and choose conditional formatting. Select custom formula is. Now you entered formula equal month. Let's choose the first day in the table. And then compare it with the months. Uh, now you're gonna copy copy the months of the date value. So copy it, paste here. Okay, and don't forget we need the dollar, the dollar sign to make this data fixed when we make some comparison. Okay, then now uh, I want to change the background. I want to change the background of the cells because I just want the text is gray and with no background. So I'm going to shoot none background and with gray text. The last formula is going to help us highlight the today date. So select format, then conditional formatting, add new rule, select date is, and choose today. So uh, I will select match, and today's date has been automatically highlighted. We will change the highlight color later, so don't worry. Now let's coloring our calendar. And there you have it, a fully functional dynamic calendar. You can find the download link in the description or you can head over to the website notely.com for more free spreadsheet templates. In our next video, we'll take this calendar to the next level by adding the option to choose the starting day of the week. If you found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to support my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.